Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to edit a Microsoft Excel file in Google Sheets uh, using the Google Chrome browser. And this may seem, this may blow your mind. You're thinking, wow, wait a second. You can edit an Excel document, a .xlsx document in Google Sheets? And the answer is yes, it's true. It's possible. You don't even need to convert it. But what you do need is, first of all, you need a Google uh, Drive account. You also need to be doing it in uh, a Chrome browser for Mac or PC. This is the Mac version of the Chrome browser, but PC works the same. And you need to install a special type of extension in the Chrome browser called uh, Office Editing. And here's how you do it. Go to Window, select Extensions. Extensions are like little software programs that you can attach to Google Drive or Docs or Sheets. And basically search for Office Editing and it should come up. So I've already installed it, so um, I don't have the option to install it again, but I can remove it if I want to. If you're using another browser and you try to do the same thing, you'll get uh, you'll get you'll see something like this. This is Safari, um, and it says it, it'll show the listing for it, but it will say it's available on Chrome. So you do have to use Google uh, Chrome for that. So once you have it installed, um, basically you have to open the Excel document from Google Drive. You cannot upload it directly to Google Sheets. I don't know why that is, but that's just the way it works. If you do try to, to upload an Excel file into Google Sheets, even using the Google Chrome browser, it will automatically convert it to Google Sheets. And sometimes you don't want to do that because uh, maybe you need to keep it in Excel or you need to send it to somebody who only uses Excel. So here's how you do it. Go to New, select File Upload, and then you find your Excel document. So I'm going to use this old um, royalty statement. So I'm going to use this one right here. Click Open. So what it will do is it will upload the Excel document. It will take a little bit of time. Starting it. Okay, just did it. And then you'll see that there's an X next to it, a green X. That means it's Excel, not Google Sheets. So click on that. And you can see at the top it says Chrome Extension. So then it's opening it up. Again, it shows the X, the X icon here. That means it's Excel, not Google Sheets. And you can see that um, the data is here. This is, this is from an Excel document, uh, .xlsx. Here's the title of it. And I, did a, I, I used the subto subtotal feature in Excel to collapse, the, collapse everything here and to create some uh, subtotals with certain types of currencies. And I created a, uh, a royalty based on 50% of this number. And actually, you'll see that the formulas are showing up there, okay? And in a couple other places, too. It's using formulas, not just raw values. But unlike Excel and unlike Google Sheets, you don't see any uh, formula bar here or ribbon here or options to create new formulas based on the data. So uh, th that's basically the thing with this Office compatibility mode for Excel. It gives you a limited number of options to um, you know, manipulate the data, but it doesn't give you the full suite of tool, tools. And I'll show you something else. Uh, hold on here. Go back. So like, let's say I wanted to alter this formula. It's, it's, uh, it says $14.88, but you can see it's based on a simple division. So it says uh, cell 032 divided by two. So if I change that to three, you'll see that it updated there, okay? Then I can do something like I can uh, create a simple uh, average. So average is a simple function that people use all the time in Excel. You can do it in Sheets too. So average um, 032, oops, wrong one, 032, and then 033. And it creates a raw number. Now that's the wrong number format. Normally on Excel, I'd go up here and I there's like a little button that has a dollar sign on it to convert it quickly to a number, uh, to a dollar a figure, but it doesn't have that. But you can go to format then choose number format and you can change it to currency here and then adjust the decimal places. All right. Now this is really rudimentary. It's kind of weird seeing this, you know, old school pop-up show up here, but it allows you to do limited things. Now, uh, once I've done that, if I wanted to, I could just download the Excel file and then I could email it to somebody. I could also share this with somebody else in Google Sheets so they could, they could mess around with it. And usually what this is useful for is very simple edits to numbers or just to check something out. Uh, maybe before you send it somewhere else. Um, and then also, as a last resort, if you do want to get a more full set of features, like making charts or accessing the different features that are on the Google Sheets toolbar, you can convert it to Google Sheets. Go to File, Save as Google Sheets, and it will do that. 
For more information on how to get the most out of Google Sheets, Google Drive, check out my book, Google Drive and Docs, in 30 minutes, available from in30minutes.com. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.